Ah, it's how it's flying around Yorkshire. In flight sim, probably the only game I've gotten apart from World of Tanks what I put on the other day. I don't, I don't particularly like, but apart from that, the only other game on the computer is flight sim. And um, I was flying around Yorkshire, and uh, I went to work this later and spoke to a friend of mine. I came from Doncaster. And I said, "Hey, there's no airport at Doncaster." And it said, yes, there is, there's Robin Hood Airport. And, oh my god, of course there is. Robin Hood Airport, you just come off the motorway if you're headed south from the north where I am. You turn left and it's there. You know, you're virtually on top of it. And there's Yorkshire Wildlife Park, I think, near there as well. So, um, but on flight sim, it's not there. It's it just isn't that. So I thought, well, I like to tinker, so I put on. So this is us creating um, Robin Hood Pet Airport. Now, I've had a dabble with this before, but I'm not a hundred percent with it. So you're gonna have to bear with me. You're gonna need some things to do it. You're gonna need a program called. Well, we're going to use an app program called Airport Design Editor, which you can get from this website here. And you also need lots of airport data. The more, the better. Yeah. I have. I got from the internet a PDF file. Not sure what website this came from, but. It's cool, it's got like the one-way sizes on it. Get out of the way, you. Uh, it's got the one-way sizes on it, what they're made from, and it's also got the um, details of the um, navigation aids and stuff like that. So that's handy. I've also got from another website, uh, vfiguides.com, you get this uh, nice groovy map, yeah? Which is um, again, it's got where the navigation aids are on the on the, on the um, airport and the um, little markers and stuff. That's uh, that's cool. Yeah, of course, from Google itself, you can take a picture. There's Robin Hood Airport. You could save the image like that and use that as a, a backdrop. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these as like. Uh, uh, an aid to making our thing, our our airport. Now, at the moment, I'm only interested in making the runway, or drawing the runway. Yeah, I'm only interested in drawing the runway and putting it onto flight sim. So that's what we're going to do first. So, right, so we need this program, I've already got it downloaded and it looks like this it's a free it's freeware oh, freeware, I don't know, it's free, I didn't pay for it nothing came up asking me to pay for it so. <laughs> right, so we're going to do a new airport well, first thing we've got is longitude and latitude now, I want to put this in as good a place as we can. So, let's see what we've got for longitude and latitude. Um, here's one. Here's some. Now, these here, these are these feet and meters and stuff you see on this program. You can change in the preference to the type of units we're going to use. We're using these. So I'm going to copy that straight onto there. Seems to like this decimalized, this decimalized um, notation, particularly. Although. I think the actual format that came up was like, like that, it might like that one in better. Let's, let's see if it gets upset if I put that in. 
Oh. We'll put that one in, because that looked like the notation that I was, um, when it came up. Right, airport ID. Now, I'm going to put the airport codes EGCN in there. EGCN. The country is obviously the United Kingdom. The state and province will leave an MT. The city is near Doncaster. And the airport name is Robin Hood. Robin Hood Airport. Right? Uh, our altitude. We need an altitude here. Altitude. 55 feet. Okay. Now, we've now got this with a dot in the middle. Yeah. And that dot, I believe, is where those coordinates go to. So what I'm going to do is I now need to check those coordinates on, on the actual world and see which parts of a the airport they actually match up with. So, I can go to Google Earth and we're going to say that and that and see where it comes up to. And it's, it's the terminal building. There's those coordinates. The front of the terminal building, just slightly this way. Okay, now that's that's good. That's important to know. Yeah, so just put the coordinates in what you use for this program into here, and you you see where it is. Okay, so I'm going to keep that picture on there, just as a reference. Now, uh. Now we need. Now we can put a runway down. Yeah. Now I'm gonna right mouse click add a runway. Now we need information about our runway. Where can I get that from? Oh yeah, I know. The runway is. Is it on here? Don't think it's got the length on there. Uh, no, that doesn't have the lengths on it, but this one does. Yeah. If you don't have the lengths, yeah, you could just go on Google with the tape measure and measure it with the tape measure <laughs> physically. But if you have the official lengths, you know, nice to put in. Ah, there it is. Uh, so. It is 60 meters wide, 60 meters wide, and 2,893 uh, feet. That's quite long. 2,893? Was it? Three? I don't remember. Was it three? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's going to be called. I will put this where the it's, this is one one way but it's in two directions if you imagine so we'll go for one way two designation one way two uh, oh. uh, it's asphalt so the surface is asphalt so you've got all sorts of choices there asphalt uh, 52 feet is the highest point, and this is the 17.65 degrees is the heading.
Und beim Zickfach. Ja. Uh, that's it. That's a maker's own way. And if you notice, our one way runs in the same direction as that. Right, now we've got to now we've got our one way, but we want it in the right place. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a image. Now this is just like a background image. This this doesn't get transferred across. I'm gonna use this. Yeah? Gonna use this map. If you haven't got that, you could use a map that you've saved from Google Earth. Yeah? But I'm gonna use this map. Because I like it. Hey up there. Hey up there. Now obviously, that's a lot smaller than what our runway is. So we need to... It, it's a bit fiddly because you have to sort of click on the edges of stuff to get this cross on it and then you can position image. I'm gonna oh, make it bigger. So it's about the same size as... So it's about the same size as the um that's the one where we've created. Now be careful when you're doing this, have a look at the um the actual runway. The actual runway for us starts at this point. Yeah? Where that goes. It starts there. And it stops. Don't stop there. It stops there. Yeah. So that's that point on here and that point on there. Yeah. So just be careful with that. Right. How's that looking? About right size or a bit bigger? Needs to be a little bit bigger. It's also slightly turning slightly so position an image. I'm just gonna turn it. Yeah. And a little bit bigger. So that is sort of like, yeah. Okay, now I want to put some markings. I'm not gonna, uh, let, let's, let's position it right now. If you remember, there's my dot. There's my red dot. We don't know if you can see that. But if you remember, that corresponded to a bit in the terminal building. It was sort of here on the terminal building. So that puts this map at the back in the right position, so I'm going to lock the background image. Okay. Now, so I'm, I need to colour my runway in now. If you look at the markings, we've got these... Oh no, that's wrong, I want to be like that. Yeah, that's it. Right. So we have these, yeah, we got edit object, we got this, got, this is our runway which we put in, and markings, <coughs> okay, um, edge stripe, edge lines, yeah, one of them, threshold stripes, that's them, fixed distance, no idea what that is, touchdown, not sure what that is, that, this sort of, yeah, 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 let's have some of those. Don't need these STL ones. So, if we press OK, and we now have... Okay. 
Um, so, um, sorry about that. Um, right, so we have our, our lines, and it's not photorealistic. We can. I'm, I'm not worried too much about the photorealism of it at the moment. I just want to get something there. We can deal with the photorealism another time. But right now, I just want to make the airport. So, there we are. So that, I think, yeah. is not going to be too bad. So I'm going to put that where it belongs. Okay. And that's it. We have a runway. Next thing we need to do is to get on to flight sim. I'm going to save that. And um, I'm just gonna. We're gonna create. This is the palette users. Yeah. And we're gonna compile as well. I'm just gonna compile just just for my reference. Right. That's the end of this video. We now have a runway in more or less the right place. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that runway and we're going to put in flight sim. Okay, sorry about that interruption. Um, so we have a, a runway now, which is approximate to the whole thing. Um, it's the right length. And it's in the right position. Uh, I'm not too worried about, as I said, I'm not too worried about the photorealism of this. We can do it for photorealism later. But for now, we are okay, I think. So we're going to save the file. So the airport. Okay. And that's it. That's the end of this video. Next video, we're going to take this runway and we're going to put it into flight sim. Thank you.